Let's look at factorising a difference of two squares. So we've looked at over the last couple of videos very strongly this idea that if you take a minus b and multiply it by a plus b, you just get a squared minus b squared, your difference of two squares. Now what we're wanting to do is instead of multiply out, we want to go the other direction and we want to factorise. So we're going to start with this and we want to get back to that. So if we're asked to factorise x squared minus 25, what we're being asked is to get the two brackets that multiply together. We know that we must have a minus in one and a plus in the other. And then we need to have the first term has to get us to x squared when we multiply it together. So it's obviously going to be an x and an x. And this needs to be the same thing multiplied together to give you 25. So it will be a 5 and a 5. Why don't you try the next two? Pause the video, try it for yourself, and then we'll go over it. So as soon as you recognize that you've got a difference of two squares, you know when you factorize it, you're going to get two brackets, one with a minus, one with a plus, and now you've just got to figure out what these are. We know that what goes here must be the same thing multiplied together to give you 25. So obviously what goes here is 5. And then what goes here must be, this times this must give you x squared. And so obviously it must be x. For this one, this times this must give you a squared b squared. So it must be ab. And this times this must give you 36. So it must be 6, because 6 times 6 is 36. What about this thing here where we've got x squared plus 25? The important point to notice here is that we do not have a difference of squares. We do have a square, x squared. We do have a square, which is 5 squared for 25. But we don't have a difference. We've got a plus, and it turns out that this can't be factorized.